Hey everyone, Vincent here, and today in this video, we're actually going to be looking at how to install and actually use the Cinema Impact product I created for After Effects CS4 or higher. And basically what Cinema Impact is, is it's a color correction preset suite for After Effects CS4 or higher. It's a bundle of presets that allow you to add a really, really fast, simple and easy film look to your animations, your film, your movie, anything that you create. So here in this demonstration, I have a raw footage right here. On the left side, I have a raw footage of a street in New York. And as you see, it's pretty washed out. It looks, you know, it looks pretty good, but it looks plain. And on the right side, you see that I have one of my presets applied, the Cinema Army preset. And as you see, it adds a nice, sunny, warm feeling to the footage. So as you see here, on the right side, it looks more cinematic. It looks like what you would see in a film in the theaters right now. And on the left side, you see the raw footage, raw from the camera, it's taken and downloaded right from the camera. So as you can see, it's a really, really big difference. and if you watch the trailer at the end of the video or click on the video description below, you can see a full trailer of the cinema impact and you can see how well it actually impacts your movie and how it actually changes the mood and everything. And color correction is a really important factor in film, so keep that in mind. So I'm going to teach you how to install this onto your computer, whether you're on Mac OS X or Windows. But I'm on Windows, so let's start with Windows first. I'm going to close this and go to my computer. Now if you're on Windows, the first thing you want to do is go to My Computers and navigate the hard drive where you installed After Effects. So if you installed After Effects on an external hard drive, then go to that external hard drive. But like most people like me, we install our After Effects into our primary drive, which is the C drive by default on Windows. So I'm going to go into the C drive. And now here, it kind of gets a little bit complicated for CS5 users. But okay, if you have a 32-bit computer, you want to click on Program Files. And that is for for After Effects CS4. But if you're on a 64-bit computer, you will have two program file folders. Program files, these are for the 64-bit applications. And the 86 is for the 32-bit applications. So if you have a 64-bit computer and you want to install it for After Effects CS4, go to the program files 86. If you're on a 64-bit computer and you want to install these presets for After Effects CS5, then go into the regular program files, which is for 64-bit applications. So I don't have CS5 right now. I'm actually on a 64-bit computer, and I'm trying to install these presets on Adobe After Effects CS4. So I'm going to go into the program files 86, because Adobe After Effects CS4 is a 32-bit application. I'm going to find the Adobe folder, navigate to After Effects CS4, under supported files, scroll down until you see the preset folders. And this is basically where you install the preset. It's very similar to installing brushes with Photoshop, but I'm gonna go in and you know pull up my Cinema Impact. And when you download the Cinema Impact in the link in the video description, extract that and you'll get this file right here, this folder right here. So it's really simple. All you need to do is just drag this folder and drag it into the After Effects preset folder. Really simple, so just take this folder right here and just drag it into the presets folder where we navigated to a while back. So really simple, and for the Mac users out there, you install Cinema Impact preset into your application slash Adobe After Effects CS4 folder under your presets folder. So navigate to the applications folder, Adobe After Effects, presets, and then just drag the Cinema Impact folder into the presets folder that you just navigated to. And then of course restart After Effects and we should be good to go. So in here, I'm gonna show you guys how to use this a little bit. And basically, you wanna drag your footage into a composition. So just bring in your footage into a composition and I'll show you how to start color grading and everything. So I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. And here, this is where we're gonna apply all of our presets and effects and color grading. So I'm gonna just rename this adjustment layer um, Cinema Impact Effect. And if you go to the effects and presets right here, you can search in cinema. And like just like that, you see the cinema impact folder. And you see all 15 presets under the cinematic impact. And we have a lot to choose from. And so you can drag pretty much any preset you want and drag it into the adjustment layer. So I'm going to just drag in the cinema preset into the cinema impact effects. And as you see, we already have a different effect for this footage. Now I'm going to turn off the adjustment layer so you can see what it looks like before and after. So you, as you can see, it's a huge difference. It sets a different mood to your scene. So pretty interesting if you scrub through this. 
I mean, it renders pretty fast. It's not a, a memory whore or anything like that. It is pretty resourceful of what it has. Really cool, really fast. And the best part about this product is you can actually modify everything yourself. So if you see in the effects column, you see for the adjustment layer, you have the curve settings, the levels, the tint, the hue and saturation. I mean, we have all the effects. So in case this is not exactly what you're looking for, you can always modify the settings in the effects panel. Of course, you can also combine effects and, uh, uh, and pretty much combine presets to give an interesting look. So if you want to experiment with it, you can actually just drag in two presets into the adjustment layer. So I apply the cinema, cinema preset. I'm just going to drag in the cinema cold preset on top of that. So basically we have two presets in one adjustment layer. And as you see, we get this pretty interesting look. It's a nice, cool look, something somewhere cold. And it gives you just an interesting look and a different feel to your footage. So really cool. You have 15 presets to start off with. And you can also combine and add two or more presets together to get another interesting look. You can modify your settings and parameters in the effects panel. So you pretty much have full control over this. And you guys have to remember that this is a preset. This is not your final color correction. Now, color correction presets are great. They're wonderful and they're really fast and easy. And it's a great starting point. Now, keep in mind, it is a starting point. You want to modify these starting points to get the look that you want. Now, say you dragged in a preset and it was wonderful. The preset made your film look amazing. Well, I'm pretty sure that if you modify the preset just a little bit, I'm pretty sure you can get a better result. Remember, these are just starting points. I guarantee you that you need to modify these starting points. These are not always perfect. I try to make these presets as universal as possible so they can work with almost any footage, but you're gonna need to modify. It's not always gonna work. So just keep that in mind. That's how you use the Cinema Impact before and after. So pretty much a big difference. Great for newbies and great for people who just want a really, really quick color correction grading starting point, especially beginners and After Effects and people who want to make Modern Warfare, you know, montage and all that stuff. You crazy people out there. But basically, it's a really cool, really fast preset. Absolutely free. Link in the video description. And I'm also planning on making, you know, an extension package, you know, if I'm bored and I don't want to add on to this collection, I may make Cinema Impact preset, pro preset, similar to Optical Flares, except the additional like 50 presets are going to be free. I'm not going to charge for simple presets like these. But thanks for watching, guys. Download the link in the video description. Download the preset. Use it. Make sure that if you're going to link this video or anything like that to another website, if you're going to release anything, please do not upload the zip file onto your website or anything like that just link to this video so i get the proper credit and you know things will work out because again this product is free so just link back to this video or credit me vincent win or anything like that so thanks for watching guys please rate, comment subscribe and hope you enjoy the preset and thanks for watching guys